As Strong closed the final 200 meters of his 800 meter race, University of Illinois sophomore Conrad Iron earned his first victory of the 2017 season on Saturday at the Illinois Twilight Track and Field Meet. The first four we went out um, slower than I had wanted, uh, so coming into the last 200 I was feeling a lot more fresh than I thought I was going to be. Um, so it felt good to really get a, a strong kick in and, and uh, like really command the last 200. Iron was one of at least three LGBT athletes competing at Saturday's meet in Champaign, Illinois, along with IUPUI runners Alexis Lewandowski and Kelsey Tyler. Iron, Lewandowski, and Tyler used Saturday's meet to prepare for their respective conference championship meets, which arrived the second week of May. This is the first time Lewandowski and Tyler have spoken publicly about being LGBT. Lewandowski says she identifies as a lesbian. Hey, I never really tried to keep it a secret, so um, I've been on the team for two years, so uh, people just kind of gradually started learning that about me. Um, so it's, it's probably been building up over the last couple years so that now just everyone knows. Saturday was a coming out for Lewandowski on the track, too. It was the sophomore's first time running the 3,000 meter steeplechase and the water jump was the most harrowing part for her. Yeah, we've practiced them like a couple times and it's it's definitely the scariest part. It, it's, it feels like a long fall to get down there, so I definitely need to work on those, but uh, still a good experience. She finished the race fourth in 11 minutes, 40.26 seconds. After Saturday's race, she feels she can approach the school record this season. I felt like I had a lot left at the end, so I'm looking forward to the next one. IUPUI's Kelsey Tyler ran the 1500 meters Saturday. She finished 41st of 47 runners in a time of 5 minutes, 6.19 seconds. My race didn't go too well. Um, I had some pretty big stressors this week, so I think that contributed to um, me not having as good of a race. But I feel like I closed well, so at least that's something to take away from this week. Tyler is a junior and has been out to her team as queer since her freshman year at IUPUI. The LaPorte, Indiana native has enjoyed acceptance on her team and in Indianapolis. I came from sort of a small hometown and I, to be honest, didn't really know anyone who identified in the LGBTQ um, family. So it's it's been really cool getting to know people who are also in that area and just being in a more accepting city than my hometown. Illinois' Conrad Eyring, who came out publicly in a 2015 out sports story while in high school, won his 800 meter race in a time of 1 minute 52.31 seconds on Saturday. Eyring's first win of the year shows that he is back to top form. Eyring set out the 2017 indoor track and field season after suffering a broken jaw and then having his appendix removed during the fall. And those two ailments caused him to miss significant training. For the first few meets it definitely felt like I was playing catch up with a lot of guys that were uh, healthy through the indoor season, um, but right now I feel like it's 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 pretty much leveled out. Um, I was definitely a lot more nervous going into races at the beginning of the season because I didn't have that indoor season to kind of shake off the rust. Iring hoped to run a time Saturday that would qualify him for the NCAA postseason, but he'll have another chance at the Big Ten Championships, which start May 12th. You have to be happy with the win. Um, I was hoping for a faster time, trying to make a regional time, but uh, you know, with the weather and the wind, I was pretty happy with it. Along with being pleased with his win, Iring enjoyed meeting Lewandowski and Tyler for the first time on Saturday. He hopes more LGBT athletes share their experiences so the visibility of LGBT athletes continues to grow. Come on out because it's, it's a lot brighter out here. Uh, there's no point in, in hiding the closet because there's a lot of people out here that are uh, willing to help. So, This is Eric Hall for Outsports in Champaign, Illinois.